A lawsuit has been filed against a Watertown nursing home after one of the patients was allegedly sexually assaulted. The woman died a few weeks after the incident, and as News H. Jamie Muir reports, her family is now hoping to get enough money to cover funeral costs. While the criminal investigation remains open, a family member of the alleged victim, a woman now deceased, has filed a civil suit. The complaint claims that around July 17th of 2010, an elderly woman who lived at the Apple Rehab Bunker Hill facility in Watertown was sexually assaulted by an unidentified person. The attack supposedly happened in her bedroom, but does not specify if the suspect was an employee, guest, or another resident. The family argues there was a, quote, negligence and carelessness by Apple Healthcare. In this complaint, a family member of the victim claims that the nursing home or rehab facility failed to protect the victim from sexual assault, failed to provide adequate security, failed to report the sexual assault to both family members as well as the police department. But a spokesperson for Apple Healthcare says Apple Rehab's policy includes a full investigation into the facts and findings and continues to commit full resources to uncover the facts which continue to unfold. Meanwhile, the family is asking for Apple Healthcare to pay more than $15,000 to cover the cost of medical and funeral costs. The family claims because of the reported incident here, the woman suffered a fear of sexually transmitted diseases, conscious pain and suffering, severe emotional distress, and eventually death. Again, the criminal investigation to this is ongoing by the Watertown Police Department. Meanwhile, the civil litigation will take place here at Waterbury Superior Court. Reporting from Waterbury, I'm Jamie Muro, News 8.